All right, this is a very easy process. Um, I'll show it to you. It's really easy to do once you know what you're doing. The first thing you're going to do on your mom's chair is take the arms off. Take this arm and this arm off. These are the arms right here, okay? Take those off. Just unscrew these knobs back here, and the arm slides off this post right here. So the arm off, put the arm on the ground. Take the arm off, put it on the ground. The next thing we're going to do, these two rods right here, this rod right here, which is about five inches, I ha you have two more. They're going to be up to here. They're going to be longer. But to get this rod off, there's a screw right here, and you can't get to it unless you take this little plastic cover. So this plastic cover has four screws. So just unscrew the four screws. Don't lose your screws. Get a, get yourself a little get yourself a little bucket, a little a little cup. Don't do like I'm doing and put them on the ground. But if I lose one, I have tons of screws here. So, but you might not have. So take this cover off. And when you take this cover off, it's real simple. Four screws. And I'm sending you an Allen wrench right in here. You unscrew this right here, okay? Right there, the Allen wrench will go right in there. And then you will replace, you will replace both these rods with the longer one that I'm sending you so you can put the arms back on and the arms will be wider. So that's the first thing you do is take these rods out, unscrew it here. I think you can just pull it out this way and slick, slide the other one in, put the washer in the, and I'll send you the Allen, the Allen screw to do it from here but you have to take the cover off. That's the first thing you do. Put the longer piece on there and they're gonna be in the box. The next thing you're gonna do, take her headrest off, okay? Now I'm gonna turn this chair around so we can have a little better view here. So the arms are gonna be on a different position. So let me turn the arms off. Let me turn the chair around so you can see the front. All right, so we've already got the bottom at 22 inches, so there's no problem there. What you're going to do now is take the back cushion off that you have, take it off completely like that, and just it's on Velcro, okay? And I'll send you some Velcro in case you need some extra Velcro for the new cushion, which is going to be wider. Take the cushion off. You're going to want to take this piece off, and to take this piece off, it's real simple. Right down here on the bottom. Bottom right, if you're sitting, there's one, there's one screw that unscrews right here. You unscrew it, pull it off, the whole back comes off. Okay? Now make sure, so that's all you have to do. So take the other back that I sent you and slide it on here and put this screw back in here, like where, just the way I showed you right there. Make sure that when you put it back in, then she's in the last hole over here. That's a hole left on this one because she has a medium back so move these three to the last hole so these two here and move this one one hole so make sure you're in the last holes right there take your 22 inch back slide it back into the hole put your screw back on okay now you're gonna have to re you're gonna have to <coughs> reinstall on the side here the uh, the uh, the lateral support that she's got you have to reinstall those I'll send you this, the tools for that too. Send me back the cushions, the back, the bottom, uh, the bottom cushion is good. Send me back everything you take off, send back to me in the box, okay? Uh, so you're gonna have to reinstall right over here. You'll see it, it's on your, it's on your, it's gonna be on your thing. Just take it off of here and put it exactly the same way on the other one, the two lateral pads that go off. So that's it. So you'll be replacing the back. It's already at 22. You'll make sure it's in the last hole Put the cushion back on here i'll send you some velcros extend the arms out put them back on when you put the arms back on after you've got them extended i'm going to show you something real quick right here right here on this screw right here and on this screw right here these arms will tilt so if you put your allen wrench in here and in here so if they're too far out or they need to be out more whatever you need to do you just Turn these Allen screw here, and then it brings the arm out this way, and then this brings it in. You have two different you have two different elbows here for two different adjustments. 
that should do the whole thing. The next thing I want to show you real quick, on your mom's chair, you have these right here. I don't know if you can see this over there, but in your mom's chair, you have these support right here. You're not going to be able to use those for your mom's chair because we're making the back 22 and the seat 22. When we do that, by putting the arms at 22, this is going to fall next to the seat. It's not going to have anywhere to, you're not going to be able to drop it in there. You just can't use them. So take these off. You don't need them. This is for people that are real heavy and they push down on their chair. This is just, an, most of the time they're not even on there. Most of the chairs here don't have it on, okay? So take this bracket off right here. It'll slide right off the front. You'll take this, whatever is, there's a little plastic cap. It'll slide right off this track, okay? Take this off. Make sure you take this off also, right here. That's the receiving part. That's the receiving part for the arm. So take these arms, these support arms off. You don't need those on her chair since we're going 22-22 on her chair. See, this one doesn't even go in. So take these off and send those back to me. If you have any questions, give me a call. But this is pretty simple. So once, when you're there and you're doing it, if you have any questions, just call my 800 number and we'll, we'll lead you through it. So you should have no problem doing this, and it's hopefully this will take care of your problems that you're having with all these people over there. Thank you and good luck. I forgot to mention, when you take the headrest off, you're going to need to switch this little piece right here. It's got four screws right here. I'll send you the tools for it. Switch this piece and put it back on her seat, okay? Because you're going to have to put the headrest that she's got back on. And you're going to need your own. I don't know if it's the same exact one, but it's, the, it's going to have the same hole pattern. So take your four screws, mount it back on your other seat once it's on there so you can put your headrest back on. All right? Good luck.